The second Kokugikan training session was held on Sunday, February 21st, with the same cast as the previous day, and for Mitake Umi, a particular sense of deja vu. Having gone 0 and 16 against Kakuryu on Saturday, he went 0 and 14 against him today, finding no answer to the Yokozuna's aggressive forward drives. Admittedly, Mitake had contested around 10 practice bouts before facing Kakuryu, who was fresh and fought no one else all day. But in truth, Mitake was awful throughout, and seen grimacing while holding his right shoulder region at the end, cutting short charging practice as a result. It's alright. Right down that I want to face the Yokozuna tomorrow too, he joked with reporters. But something was clearly amiss when they cut the live feed to keep the full extent of the problem from us. A better session today than yesterday, was Kakuryu's verdict. The fact I'm fighting should tell you how much my condition has improved since December. But it's still important not to get ahead of myself, so although I could have fought more today, I left things as they were. One of the hardest workers this morning was Meisei, who left his Ibaraki stable at around 6am to complete the 50km journey in time. He fought 21 bouts against Asanoyama, Onosho, Ichinojo and others, winning a creditable 9 times. Asked why he and Hoshoryu didn't just remain in Ibaraki to train with stablemate Akua, he said, If you want to know how strong the top guys really are, you have to fight them for yourself. Today, those five bouts with Ozeki Asanoyama were the most useful. I'm aiming for about 15 bouts a day, and hope my moves improve as we progress. Asked if his hunger was tied to higher aims, he said, I'm now getting back to where I was pre-injury, and yes, I want to quickly improve on my personal best rank. I want to be looked upon as a prospect for Sanyaku level and beyond. To that end, I'll be working on my finishing moves at the ring's edge, and my force-out shape. There were worried faces and voices as his left knee collapsed under one of Ichinojo's slapdowns, but Meisei made no mention of that post-session. Asanoyama gave no interviews afterwards, but we can assume, despite some difficulty gaining his inside right, he was happy with his morning's work. I made him 12 and 4, that's 5-2 against Mitake Umi, 4-1 over Meisei, and 3-1 over Onosho. He looked very strong going forward, hitting hard with that recovering right shoulder, parrying strongly with the right, and spinning Mitake Umi twice with a commanding outside left. We hope to see him face Kakuryu soon. There was no Hakuho again today, but stable delegate Ishiura made his presence felt, winning seven of his ten bouts with Meisei, Oho, and Ho Shoryu, and several other bouts with lower rankers. Pleasingly, he's lost little of his muscle definition, if any. Hakuho is now working on his tachiai, and Enho's back is hurting, were the reasons he gave for stablemates' no-shows. And he also revealed the reason for his recent name change from Ishiura Masakatsu to Ishiura Shikanosuke. It comes from the warlord Shikanosuke Yamanaka, who is from my region and someone I admire, he explained. Shikanosuke is famous for saying, bring misfortune on me if it helps save my clan, and I like his emphasis on personal responsibility. I'm 31 now, which means I get less advice from those around me, and once I got more freedom over my training, I realized it was a case of do it yourself and own it. It was pleasing to see young Oho hurling himself into the salaried men on one of his final appearances in a white belt before demotion. He outpushed both Meisei and Kiribayama on occasion, and had giant Ichinojo sliding towards the rope before tables were turned. However, Oho again struggled with soon to be third division promotion rival Roga, and with the movement of Ishiura who is adept at dancing round a strong tachi ai. Another Hakuho delegate, 6 foot 7 inch Hokuseiho, underlined his potential and voracious appetite for success by taking a bout off top division Hoshoryu. 
but although he's never lost a competitive bout to anyone at his level, he did drop a couple to a highly determined Roga today. We look forward to seeing all these rivalries resume tomorrow.